passive aggressive and they wait for the clapping, but that's okay. Welcome to the songwriter showcase here at Taverna. All the visual music tonight, and everybody will be showcasing their songs. We're lucky that we got JW Reynolds to start us off tonight. So I'm gonna set up this microphone for his guitar, and we're gonna go at it. Good job. Go at it. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much uh, for having me over here again. So I'm excited because uh, as of today, as of now, uh, I have a new album that is out on all the streaming platforms. I just, yeah. just finally got on Spotify today. Uh, still waiting to hear back on Pandora. You know, it takes me a little longer. We'll see. But uh, yeah, album music, all this stuff. Um, it is called Folk You. It is a, 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 an education in folk music. Um, you know, folk university. But uh, yeah, look for me, J.W. Reynolds. Uh, this is a song from that one. There are all original songs on that. Interesting. Uh, Note, uh, I don't know if you know this, but you can't actually copyright a uh, chord progression. Um, you know, I say that for no particular reason, but uh, this song's on that album and it's number six. What one? So this next one, uh, I've, I've already got the capo here, so I'm just going to do another capo song. Uh, <coughs> this next one's also on the album. Uh, it's called Wikipedia, and it's uh, it's about the errors of uh, doing research, or uh, it's an encouragement to always fact check. And uh, this is this was written before ChatGPT was a thing, but uh, it sounds pretty much like the kind of song you'd get if you asked ChatGPT to uh, write you a song. So yeah. Tom Payne met a magical bear 
next I want to play you a song that I have not played in a long, long, long time, uh, aside from rehearsing it, uh, but uh, haven't played it live in a long time. Um, it was co-written by a friend of mine, uh, Zach Whitlow. He's uh, park ranger Zach over at uh, one of the national parks. I don't want to out him too much, I guess. Um, but uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, we wrote this song together, and uh, I think it's exemplary of like the style that I go for. But um, you know, I, I, I look at Billie Eilish writing all these amazing songs in high school, um, and it's exactly the kind of music I want to write. And so this is the kind of stuff that we were writing uh, in the early days of high school, maybe late middle school. I can't remember. All right. So it's called Napoleon. Kind of surf rock thing. Yeah, that's about, uh, that's about high school, uh, me, middle school, high school, me, uh, writing that song. Uh, I really like that chord progression, changed it up a bit, uh, and uh, now we've got this song. Uh, this one's my mom's favorite song, uh, that I wrote at least, uh, and it's called Zombies.
Thank you, thank you. J.W. Reynolds, all the uh, music streaming services. Check it out. Thank you. Now, here's how. Right now, right now. Here he is. Yeah, oh, it's good. Perfect transition. And now I'm going to toss it back. Why am I not just plugging more of the things? Yeah, go check out my album, GW Reynolds, JWReynolds.com for all of the uh, the social links, you know. Uh, all right, here's another one. Anyway, here's one. I said maybe. All right. Um, yeah. So uh, how's it going? How are you doing today? Unbefreaking having a, having a good day? Yeah. All right. Thanks. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for being here on my live stream. Uh, yeah. And uh, anyway, here's uh, here's my friend Hal. Hi. Hi. Ooh. All right. J W Reynolds, everybody. My favorite folk hero. So we're bringing up somebody now that uh, some of you might know. He brought, he brought an entire fan fan section for him. That's the way to do it, man. You got Fabian Donris. Have to play some music for you guys. we got to do. That's all Fabian does. He needs to do. Oh, yeah. Let's, let's try to play some dry acoustic on this. See what happens. I'm not going to play it like Eric, but... <laughs> Check your mic. Make sure you're not Whoa, whoa, whoa. May as well give me... 
mute the mic just in case I want to put in a couple of positive acoustic tests. Terrible. I'll be up here for something other than just some dry ass guitar. You can move the mic stand too if you want. It's not oh, it's just tethered. Like precariously. This is the songwriter showcase. Hosted by Alistair Barr, filmed by Room 6.
but we'll see. Let's try it. I'm already here. Let's try it. Let's try it. I'll noodle if I have to. I only buzzed one. Sure to tip your bartenders. Let me hear you say, oh yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> All right, this next song's called Endless Love. Uh, Fabian came up with some bangers before he came to this show. <laughs>
We only do 80s Joel's. This next song is called Stuck in My Head.
we do one more? Alright, I'm gonna try a song. I've only tried to play one other time up here. So bear with me. Yes, we want the fun. Don't you want the fun? Yes, we want the fun. Don't you want the fun? Yes, we want the fun. Don't you want the fun? Yes, we want the fun. Oh, sweet girl. You know I want it right now. Oh, oh sweet. Don't you want the fun? Yes, we want the fun. Don't you want the fun? Yes, we want the fun. Don't you want the fun? Yes, we want the fun. Don't you want the fun? Yes, we want the fun. Well, sweet girl, you know I want that.
Thank you, everybody. That's what the phone's all about. playing funky ass shit like that. But. Oh, sorry, is this a kid's show? Sorry. All right, here we go. Uh, <laughs> I'm usually not that much of a loose cannon, I swear. Wow, that guy's wild. He says... Song. First of all, my name is Quinn Turner, for those of you who don't know. I'm a singer-songwriter, born and raised in Vegas. All right, Fabian, let's see if we can do this. Fabian hasn't played this song much at all. I think he's played it once. emotional song about my inner child and trauma and repressed emotions and all these things you want to hear about while you're eating your dinner. But uh, it's very meaningful and important to me, so it's called He Hurts.
Second time I've played that live. And the second time Fabian's played with me. Give it up for Fabian. He doesn't really know these songs, but he's playing them awesome. So. All right, let's see here. Get this a little higher here so I don't have to bend down. All right. Cool. 
get this out of the way. Yeah, I write a lot of deep emotional stuff about my inner child, and I've been through a lot in my childhood, and I, I just recently, since I got out of the Air Force about four years ago, I was in the military for 10 years, and uh, man, it has been a shit storm since then, I'll tell you that, of emotions and ups and downs and roller coaster emotion, emotional <laughs> stuff, so haven't drank in over four years, haven't really done any drugs or substances in a long time. Thank you, Josh, I appreciate it. Uh, all right, <laughs> here we go. No, I'm, we're all just doing our best here to, to get through our emotions in the best way we can, the most healthy way we can, I feel like. And so I write songs and I have this outlet and I'm very grateful for that. Um, so let's see, what was I going to do next? Man, when I hit that C chord, I was feeding back like crazy, dude. <laughs> what? <laughs> Not tonight. Here's one that I did not take a chord progression from a famous song for. It's D, C, and G. I mean, how many freaking songs are written with the same chord? What is it? Nutshell? Is that the one? That's what this is? I thought it was a Marshall Tucker band. song with these chords. And it's called Waiting on the Rain. Another nice emotional one for y'all. decided to sing it higher than I normally do, so uh, Fabian can help me with the next verse, or the next chorus, because he sings higher than I do.
Thank you. That song came to me when I was sitting. I've been going out dancing a lot recently, and I feel like dancing is really good to shake it out and heal from heal from emotionally traumatic times and <laughs> get it all out. So uh, I was at Oddfellows, and I hadn't been there in a long time, and I was I was sitting there at like three in the morning at Oddfellows because I've been dancing all night, and uh, and it was raining outside pretty hard, so. I was looking outside, looking out the window, and I was like, just waiting on the rain, because uh, I didn't want to walk out in the rain. I had to walk out in the rain anyway, because it kept raining, but, but uh, that's where that song came from. Uh, but it's about, you know, it's about waiting to, to cry to me. I've been crying a lot so lately, honestly. So. It's about waiting to, to let everything out, let all that grief out and feel it. So. That's kind of what that's about. Um, so, first I'm gonna play one that has the same chord progression as another famous song. Uh, J.W. Reynolds isn't the only one who does this. It's pretty much all songwriters forever who take a chord progression and make their own song out of it. <laughs> this one when I was sleeping at the Planet Fitness parking lot the other day, because I live in my car and I sleep at the Planet, Planet Fitness parking lot a lot, so... <laughs> Here we go. Can I say cuss words in this, or do I have to do the radio edit? Do I have to radio edit? song that I put an F-bomb in, ever, and I've written over 200 songs. Got woken up in a parking lot, trash trucks, a fucking lot. Living in my car and planet fitness, at least for now. Don't know where I'm going, but I sure know where I've been. Here's the hope in all that shit, fertilizes my garden. Singing my song Whether or not they listen Dreaming my dream Without part to piss in Healing my soul oh, oh, oh. Out here on my own Most of the time That's just fine No such thing as wrong or right Tell me where this, where this song, what this song reminds you of. <laughs> For some reason, I decided to sing it really high again. <laughs> oh, it could be Hootie, yes. It could be Hootie. Or it could be, uh, early in the morning. Very slow version of it. Yeah, most of my songs are a slow version of another song. <laughs> Talking paper or plastic credit cards. I'm digging in much deeper for that treasure in my heart. And I'm singing my song. Whether or not they listen, dreaming my dream. Without a pot to piss in, healing my soul. Oh, oh, oh. Out here on my own, most of the time. That's just fine. No such thing as black or white. Hey! Sometimes you gotta write one that, that cheers you up a little bit. You wake up in the back of your car. You've been sleeping at Planet Fitness for nine months. Honestly, I feel like I'm in the best place I've ever been in in my life. <laughs> That's the real wild part about it. Woo. I'm going to go on for a brace here. Where I 
Charlestown Oven is dead and gone. All right, then good grief. Fabian wants me to do Keys to Faith. Yeah, there we go. All right. I mean, I've done enough grief songs, I guess. The Spanish girl? The Spanish dancer? It wasn't about a Spanish dancer, but. All right, how when? No. <laughs> I get to play, I can play the one Fabian wants on Saturday. I gotta find my, my pick real quick. There it is. All right, here we go. Here we go, Dak Prescott. We'll do a little more upbeat one. We won't put you to sleep all night. I just realized, <laughs> I just totally blew how, the, the how plan off. <laughs> I just played the one Fabian wanted anyway. <laughs>
Baby in the armist on the key. the energy flow in there. Fantasy, the one Hal wanted is a little bit slower too, so I, I thought I'd we'd kick it up a notch for the last song and leave you with a fast one. Again, my name is Quinn Turner, Q Turner Music on social media. If anybody wants to follow that who doesn't know that, I'd appreciate it. Um, took Evie long enough. Um, anyway, uh, <laughs> um, that's it for me. And uh, plenty more awesome acts to come, so stick around. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Baby in the Armist, one more time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Holy moly. I feel like I find myself tearing out of my seat back there sometimes because I can't remember how loud it is. But, you should make sure you talk. But... Do you have just like, know, like a I mean, full piano sound? A bit, yeah. 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 Not the worst sound I've ever experienced. That's for sure. <laughs> Eventually, I'm going to get get it. I'm just going to keep saying it until I get it. <laughs> Thanks, David. We got that. I'm ready to share you some David Wax action. All right, it's going to be a minute. Good evening, everybody. Hope everybody's enjoying their meal at Taberna Costera. Great food here. My name is David. I'm going to play you uh, some original music. <laughs> Oh, 
so much, guys. Uh, you can find that in all of my original release material at DWLV or David Wax LV Music. It's W-A-C-H-S LV, but DWLV is much easier. Instagram is uh, DWLV Music. And that was on an EP I released called Demos and Dreams. All right, this next song I'm gonna play is about a friend of mine that was in a very unfortunate situation, and uh, she got through it. When, whenever I'm with you, I've got nothing to say. I know he mistreats you, and you have.
Thank you very much. All right, this next song I'm going to do is called Waves, and I released this about a year ago. And uh, the production on the release version is just amazing. Great string arrangement, and uh, if you have a chance, check it out. There you go again, in disguise, but you don't know. What you can't see when you're not around It was so easy for you Came so fast Now you're falling and you're calling You need me at last Don't keep me waiting Keep forever Unspoken, a break from the past. Turn it back, moving slow. Complicated life to stay or to go.
Thank you guys. Thank you so much. I'm going to switch the guitar. To my last song. All right, thank you everybody so much for my last song. I'm gonna speed up the tempo a little bit. This song is called She's Waiting. Thank you so much, everybody. Please, if you have a chance, check out DWLV, wherever you find your music, and appreciate everybody. Thanks again.
what's going on. Okay, cool. We got some more artists coming up for you, but again, I just wanted to jump up here and thank you for being here and supporting original music in Las Vegas. Huge deal. We need more stuff like this, so it's nice to have these things uh, where we can have dinner and family and friends and listen to original music. It's really awesome. Thank you. And uh, stick around. We got Mitchell Kane coming up. Casmus is here. and I was only more confused than when I did. <laughs> oh, I guess so. Uh, I'll go over here. Yeah, shoes, wallet, everything. It's it's a, it, it's an epidemic like tattoos. Oh, that's a match that you didn't no, even know. Don't give me any ideas. Don't give me idea any ideas with the haircut. Stay put tonight. Um, you got me water here. Let me get me wired for sound. Here, here's my in. Ready to plug. I'm ready to go. All right, man. No pressure. No rush. I always stress. I, well, you know, some places you go, the longer you take up here, the I won't mention any names, but they start losing their minds. Two for the first time. Everybody else is going there. Okay. Let me see what my. Okay. All right, I'm ready when you are, young man. Ready? Yeah. Good evening, everybody. My name's Mitch. Woohoo! Mitch King with a K. These can be well. I think I think three of these uh, you'll be able to find online. One's new tonight. Um, mine's a hodgepodge of stuff. Uh, you know, it's funny. Uh, most of the stuff that I write nowadays seems to be kind of spiritual and reflective because I haven't been in a relationship for years, thusly haven't had my heart broken, which is when I write my most introspective stuff. So lack of a broken heart makes you focus on yourself. Anyways, so this one right here is, uh, again, reflection of this is being uh, okay with the way things are rather than the way you thought things would have been, and it's called, I guess I'm okay. Yes. 
sing about it in a song Not where I want to be I guess that I'm okay Ooh, okay Ooh. I've been disgraced in a cell like a total waste my tears in hell were never heard outside myself so what who cares that's probably why I sing instead that's my move on I'll sing about it in a song not where I want to be yes Sing about it in a song, not where I wanna be. Yes, that I'm okay. I'm okay. Can I make you understand? I don't understand myself. But I'm okay. I'm okay. Woo! Thank you. Thank you. That was fun. One. Yeah, I, I'd give myself any room over here. I'm not. I'm still getting used to the whole thing of thingamajig over here, and I'm gonna need it. Just no, don't sign me up. Um, <laughs> hey, I actually, I actually was like using backing tracks uh, at a casino over on Water Street, and somebody called me like in the middle of the song, and I like nobody calls me. It's like, you, well, telemarketers and bill collectors. So um, this right here is uh, something that I, I've actually been working on for a few. I haven't played out, so it's the first time that I'm playing this. So we'll see uh, how this goes. And um, it's called um, Please Use Me. You know, it's weird. It's, uh, I, <laughs> it's not the way, you, you, the way you think. It's not how you think, but, um, you know, I was listening to it trying to figure out after the fact where this comes from. It kind of sounds like a prayer, and we'll just go with that. Can you tell me what I'm supposed to do? I've never paid no attention, it's true. I'm done running, now no running is free. It's 
So please use me or make use of me, Lord. Home roll, nothing white. I'm searching for redemption with all the selfless deeds. Maybe I'm searching just for direction. That's why I'm down. taking a drink, but then again, one of the first things I think about when I get, up, get up here is, is my zipper up. <laughs> I'm lying, it's in, it's in, then, then you can't even look, you put yourself on blast, you know, you just, <laughs> but uh, uh, <laughs> real talk. Um, <coughs> let me see. Uh, I think uh, I'm going to do, uh, um, I'm going to do a song that I wrote uh, shortly after October. Uh, <laughs> after October 7th, called October 7th. Um, and uh, basically, uh, I guess it's kind of apropos that I'm singing uh, Hebrew in public other than at my bar mitzvah because my grandparents always wanted me to be a cantor. Uh, oh, boy, did they lose their mind when I got my first tattoo. They said I couldn't be buried in the Jewish cemetery, and I was sitting there, I was 12 years old, and I thought, I wasn't really thinking that far ahead, you know? But, yeah, I know. I, well, they were from the old country. I, I'm second. Yeah, exactly. Just cut it out. Don't give them any ideas. I wanted to be fed to the fish. Recycle me. Anyways, and uh, this starts off with uh, part of uh, my... Uh, um, well, it's the Shema, and I sang this for the first time in public on my bar mitzvah at 13 years old. 
Shema Yisrael Adonai Eloheinu Adonai you think about when you're all alone. And, um, wow, I actually uh, um, got through, almost didn't get through four here. Cool. Um, this right here is the first song that I ever played out. I've been writing for years, and, I, and um, like, I never expected to play any of this stuff for anybody, to be honest with you. I played it for my dogs, and they just loved the hell out of it. Played it with my mom, played it for my mom, and I was her baby. Um, but like I'm starting to go through a lot of the stuff that I wrote and I'm finding that although I was a lot more insane then I kind of reflected on the same shit then that I'm reflecting on all these years later and it's kind of bizarre how you're in the same place no matter where you are if nothing changes nothing changes anyways and this right here is about survivor's guilt because I got a lot of friends of mine who uh, absolutely positively 
probably deserve to be around here a lot longer than I did, and I wonder why I'm here and they're not. <laughs> and this one's called No One's Gonna Be Crying.
Sometimes trying to multitask up here is a lot easier than it looks. Eric, just when he finds the pedal, like it's like, dude, man. <laughs> Stop. Stop. No one asked you, and no one's going to be crying. Ah, all right. You let me know when I'm safe to do all of that. I, I have disconnected everything electronically from, from my quarter-inch end. And if you and if you turn me down, I can come off. Where do you get? Where do you come off? Where do you come off getting off like that? Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So Eric, so so I'm over here and I'm going. I, I, I go. Wait a second. Isn't it my turn to sing? And then I go, wait a second, ain't I supposed to breathe before I sing? <laughs> wait a second, where's that button I was looking for? And I go, oh shit, there's just way too much going on up here, man. It's like I need a roadie to multitask <laughs> up here. Hey, I'm glad you get it. Right, cool? Yeah. Hey, man, it was awesome. I love, I love that second song and that, and that, that October 7th song. That was, Thanks, that was, brother. Thank you. Very that was awesome. Thank awesome you. stuff. Thank you. Good, I got my wings. You got your I'm flying. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Hi. Hi, I'm Paul. It's been a very chill week, but I like it. It's been, I've, I've been, this is the most vibey it's been in here in a while. I like it. You can't do that down here. That's what's going on upstairs. Dude, is that a thing that they do with, like, slam poetry? Do they snap, like, instead of clapping? That's really a thing? I think that's cool. That's like 1960s. You know, like. uh, you want to hear a joke that my 10 year old daughter told me today? Yes. I don't know if a whole crowd of people will get this, but it's a call and response kind of joke, so you'll have to help me out. You ready? Here we go. How can you fit an elephant in a subway? You take the S out of sub and the F out of way. Okay. S out of sub, of way. And then the F out of way. There's no F in way. That's right. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> I'm a dad. I'm a dad. I fell for it. I was, I, like, did I was getting annoyed. You totally I got like, me. I was like, what? I was, I was getting annoyed, and I was like, there's no effing way. And she's like, exactly. I was like, oh. It took me a second, and then I got mad because I know that joke. <laughs> <laughs> Just things you have to look forward to with the children around, you know? The best. The best. I'm all good whenever you're ready, baby. All right. So... We have our buddy, Richard Kasmus, who has not been here in a minute. And the reason why is because he's been off adventuring around the world to be a flight attendant. <laughs> I can't tell you what the, uh, the, can I? Can I tell him what? What airline? airline? What airline? Oh, yeah, you can say what airline, yeah. Yes. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, it's Frontier. Yeah, it's Frontier. No, Frontier. Frontier. Yeah, it's Frontier. Yeah, it's Frontier. Yeah, it's Frontier. Yeah, for legal purposes, we'll say it rhymes with uh, uh, lunch, lunch tier. <laughs> hey, man, I feel safe. We're not using any Boeing planes. 
so. Oh, good. Uh, no door, no doors coming off. Uh, I, had, I, had a, I met a guy um, a couple days ago actually at a party, and he works for the Air Force, and all they do is like checks for all the airplanes when they have to like replace something, and he was like, look, when something's wrong, like even if it's like a loose screw or something, you have to have a second person come and check your work. Mm -hmm. Put like a red X. So when there's a red X on something, that means like two people had to yep. check it. Yeah. And he was like, those Boeing, this, somebody's getting fired. Oh my car. gosh. Oh, so bad. And he's like, and also, too. it's not one problem. It's like, because you just see the same thing on each plane. He's like, it's all different parts of the plane. <laughs> yeah, that's. Bad news. <laughs> I know what it feels like, though, to have the door blow off at 30,000 feet. Feels a lot like tonight. <laughs> I'm just kidding. We've had worse nights. We have. Yeah, this was a cool night. I like it. Uh, so I'm going to let Richard Cadmus play some of his hits. I can't wait because it's been a minute. I'm going to enjoy. Oh, he's going to play the hits. <laughs> yeah, it's the greatest hits of Cadmus. No one's, no one's ever heard. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Oh, yeah. Alright, I dedicate this song to our wonderful bartenders here. Woo! Woo! This song's called Bottom of a Bottle. <laughs> oh, well bartender, bartender, keep those drinks coming. As long as you keep pouring, I know I can keep it running. Bartender, bartender, have I told you my name yet? I need you to remember, cause I'm trying to forget it. Pour me another round, watch me chase it down. I wonder why my problems never leave me. Solutions yet unbound, answers never found. At the bottom of a bottle, no release. Bartender, bartender, I'm wasting my paycheck. Putting back these shots so fast, I swear I think I break my neck. Bartender, bartender, can you tell me what to do? Feels like I can walk on air and I'm hanging by a douche. Pour me another round, watch me chase you down. I wonder why my problems never leave me. Solutions yet unbound, answers never found. The bottom of a bottle, no release, yeah. Bottom of a bottle Pour me another round Watch me chase it down Oh God, I thought I had some more control in me But it seems I can't drown out That too familiar sound
could say like Ricky Ricky Wicky Wicky. <laughs> I used to have a, uh, a young neighbor who um, he could never, I was always witchhood. Witchhood. Is he gonna, uh, and then or I was either witchhood or I was chi, which I don't know where he got chi from, but I mean, I know I'm Asian, but. <laughs> All right, this next song I wrote is called, let's see, we'll do, I'll stay with my people over here. The song's called Happy Man. It's just too hard to resist Eyes of a demon wearing skin With smiles, light, and nails that Bite out the tempt of souls of men They found my life on stormy night And the priest gave up his post For a glimpse of sin If I knew the end Passion's blood burned my youth away Now this body is broken And all that's left is a whisper who I am Passion's blood left me old and gray As useless as an anchor on dry land Here is why I'm a man
This song's called The Great Unknown. Which is kind of apropos for uh, what I'm doing right now. Some kind of forging ahead. Starting a new part of my life. Don't really know what's going to come next. All I know is that I'm going to keep music part of it. When I was young, I would dream Life of adventure was calling to me through it all And I believe that this world is bigger than what I could see Live my own fantasy Where I was a hero so legendary A naive fallacy Everyone fit into my own story The battles lost and won This was the song I sung So I forged ahead and blazed a trail To the great unknown No looking back, no backbones left in the grave My soul is my guide See where they carry me on through the night As I forge ahead and blaze the trail To the great unknown
It good, feels good to be back, man. I like, I could not, I would be in class from like 9 a.m. to 7 p.m. I'd have a test every day the next day and stuff when I was doing my like flight study classes. I'm like, man, all I wanted to do was play music because <laughs> that's my therapy and I was like, I just had no time and I was like going just insane. So this feels good. Back to be back to Verna. I guess I got one more for you guys, right? <laughs> I'm trying to think. All right, let's see. What's another one I can do? Um, I have, I, man, I haven't played this song forever. Let me see. Play that one song. <laughs> All right, let's see if I, uh, see if I can remember the song. This song's called I Just Happened to Look Your Way. It's a mouthful, I know.
song's called Told This Poor Song. So quick when she takes you in her sight. Sweet as sugar on a hollow night. Just one lick and you know you're dead to rights. Cold as porcelain. Wandering everything and friends. No innocence in lies. Eyes are Your humble tax collector trying to do his job. I wonder up to Caesar, so I know just what to charm. You think that I'm a cheater, I'm an honest man of heart. While I line this purse with silver, it's your gold that I desire. And in the end, I'll have it all. Cause I want those taxes.
You guys just came in. You don't know if you want to clap yet. That's okay. I got one more song. Hopefully after that one you'll want to clap. <laughs> Alrighty. I got uh, one last song for you. The song's near and dear to me. It's called Gold Rush. And uh, you can find it on SoundCloud right now. I think this. I can't. The, the one that I have that I recorded with my label is unfortunately being held hostage right now. So... <laughs> <laughs> so hopefully once I once I can come up with ten thousand dollars then then I can then I can get my music back. <laughs> Alright, this song's called Gold Rush. It means that no matter what, I'm still gonna strike gold somewhere, hopefully. Growing up I heard the line once a hundred million times. Yes, I had to find out the hard way. They would fire over the fence, burn the candle, apple pens. Woke up in a home one dreadful day. Discovering my fortune down here among the dirt till I struggle. Just the 
This is my this is my this is my D guitar anyway, so I still haven't gotten my uh, pickup fix in my other one. How how's got the image of the you know it, that is that is the thing. That's his thing. I've been a little rusty. I just want to tie on my hands. Where do you see where do you see the picture that I edited for you? Oh yeah. <laughs> you comic book superhero. Oh man. I can't wait. I'm gonna look like a golden god. <laughs> Yes. I've been, I've been trying to, I'll be honest, I've been having like vocal issues and stuff. I've been trying not to sing unless I ha absolutely have to, so that I can save my voice for all sorts of whatever crazy opportunities or whatever bigger shows or I grew a beard. It's pretty much been my month. I wrote a new love song a couple weeks ago and uh, released it. I wrote, recorded, and released the song in one week. And it's growing on me. It's called Back to You. It's growing on me like my beard. It goes like this. restaurant is open, it just looks very quiet in here.
Thank you. You did that with a crazy, weird voice. Thank you. I like it a lot, too. Actually, I'm going to say two things that nobody's going to believe. But uh, I, have, I went to the gym today. <laughs> and while I was at the gym, I was on the treadmill, and I just had music, like, randomly, you know, in a big mix of songs. And that song... My song came on, that song, which is like, not like a treadmill song, you know? Um, but it was like, the first time I kind of like, listened to it, like, out and outside of myself a little bit. I was like, oh, I like this, it's pretty. <laughs> that 
that song I wrote and recorded so fast. I, yeah. Whenever I get on the treadmill, I like to listen to me. That I can believe. I'm like, uh, that voice. <laughs> Actually, um, I use my songs for my alarm, though, to wake me up in the morning. Wow. It's, it really works. It, I'm like, oh, God, no, no. Check <laughs> my talk voice. About, talk about hearing My voice yelling at me first thing in the morning. <laughs> it really works well. I would suggest that to anybody. If you could replace your alarm sound just with your voice, doing whatever. If you're a bartender, just... Uh, you know what? Just sh shop orders at yourself. <laughs> oh, <all right. laughs> yeah, yeah. Have like a cash register sound, like ambient people talking. You could wake up and be like in a cold sweat. Like, oh my god. Um, all right. Let's see what else I can do.
get the little loose. That's right. Yeah, I'm faking it really good. Take it. Don't blow it back up. No. So, um, this is a song that I, uh, I wrote about Las Vegas. I feel like I work a lot of cover gigs for tours, you know? And I notice that a lot of people, not everyone, but a lot of people that will come and visit Vegas will get really drunk and kind of treat Vegas like a one night stand. And I thought that was interesting. Uh, so I wrote a song that sounds like it's about a one night stand, but it's just a big, giant metaphor for Las Vegas.
Vegas. We made a music video to it. If you like that song, you can listen to it. And also, you can watch me walk down the street. <laughs> it's on YouTube. Or, yeah. <laughs> Just, you know. Um, it's, uh, if, you, <laughs> if you like any of my music, you can find it if you look up, like on Apple Music. It's Hal Savar, H-A-L-S-A-V-A-R. Now, here's the thing. I've decided, I've made a conscious decision to start pushing Apple Music, even though it's on Spotify, it's on iTunes, it's on YouTube Music. The reason why is because I found out that they pay more than the other services for your streams. So if you get a million streams on Spotify, they pay you, I think it's, like, oh, like thirteen hundred bucks. Yeah. If you get a million streams on Apple Music, they pay you ten grand. It's way better. Winning. You know what I mean? Like, to, it, I, I can't even fathom getting a million streams. I have some songs that have a lot of streams. Like, to me, it's like a hundred twenty thousand streams or something, which I get nothing for. But um, I think about it in terms of like, if it were nineteen eighty three, I'd be Michael Jackson. <laughs> Times are different now. Only if the guitar is in the Yeah, that's right. <laughs> it is? Oh, all right. Well, thank you guys for uh, hanging out with us. We had an awesome, awesome time. We do this every Thursday night from 6 to 9. All original music. It's called the Songwriter Showcase. If you get on Instagram, it's Vegas.songwriters.showcase. And also, follow Room 6 on YouTube. That's the YouTube channel where we live stream all these shows. And Josh over here from Room 6 interviews all the local musicians in town and supports everybody. And like, it's the spot to go to to check out anything about original music in Vegas. And I guess we'll see you next Thursday night. You stay classy. Las Vegas, good night.